Uh, we have a board of um, what was previously uh, four members who really, they're the visionaries behind what we're doing tonight. And uh, you know, I, I don't deserve any credit, they deserve all the credit because not only did they have the vision to understand that there was gonna be such a demand for this that we needed to build because we weren't having the space for it. And just to, to give you an anecdotal story, uh, when we were trying to finish completion of our new facility, uh, we couldn't actually get all our students in our existing rooms. So we had to send four classes down the road uh, to schools in the Mad Madison Heights School District uh, in order to accommodate all those because we couldn't have them here. And so we're not just building this for the sake of building it and, and, and making the palace, we're doing it because there's a real need for the classroom space. And now uh, we're gonna be able to accommodate um, all those classrooms or all those students because we have the classroom space. Uh, so uh, with that, you know, the, our board members have really been uh, critical and, and not only um, are they board members, but they were also, ironically enough, our top contributors. And uh, you know, these are guys that made it to the platinum level of you know, $25,000 and above in terms of their personal contributions, in terms of their corporate contributions. So you know, they, beyond just spending the time and effort that we're all busy people, but they spent a lot of time and effort to support this educational program. Uh, so we wanna give a special recognition uh, to those folks, and I'm gonna start here. Um, they don't really know that this is coming. Um, if you could hold this around right here. And I'm gonna start out with uh, uh, Jim Struble. Uh, in recognition of Jim Struble's unselfish contribution of time and energy as a board member of CET, and in recognition of RCI Electric as a platinum level donor to the new education wing, a new classroom has been named in your honor for the 2017 period. RCI room that, that uh, we've named for Jim. Cam, you're the man too. Uh, and the, the verbiage is the same, but we recognize Cam for his service as a school board member, and he had his guys here for weeks on end, and, and sometimes frustratingly so, but they stayed and they got the job done. So Cam, uh, we have a room, the technical room, uh, named in the honor of your company, so thank you. Uh, and then um, our uh, CT board chairman, um, Rob Molnar, as we've, we've met earlier tonight, uh, but we've also named, uh, a, 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 in honor of the Molnar team, um, a um, room in his honor, and, and his father's honor as well. So congratulations. <laughs> With that, uh, we actually, uh, the, this, we've had a lot of celebration tonight, uh, but there's a little bit of sadness, a tension to sadness to tonight, because uh, one of our four um, CT board members passed away this week. And the irony was that, it was, it was uh, a bit unexpected, and the irony was that uh, the inspectors were here to do the final inspection the morning that he passed away. And uh, again, he put you know, over 400 man hours uh, into the addition upstairs and really believed in this program. Uh, but I'm gonna have Jim Struble, who's been a longtime colleague of Dennis, um, maybe say some, some words in, in honor of him. We're missing someone. This would be going to Dennis. He's uh, with us a long time. Someone who's made a significant contribution not only to the conception, design, and construction of this project, but more so to our association and to our training program throughout as many years. He has just been, he's been a leader. Right? He's been dedicated. He's been, you know, he's, he's one of the, one of the one of the men who was involved in ABC, uh, this chapter, when it was a fledgling in its infancy, uh, one of the 
if not one of the founding members, uh, one of the early members. Um, and it was because of Dennis's um, idealism, I think, uh, and, uh, and concern for others, concern for our industry, uh, concern for doing what was right, always. I know if we were in his power, he would be here today uh, and be celebrating with us. As Keith said, he passed away uh, this, just this past week. And he's sorely missed, by me certainly, and by many of us whose lives he's impacted. He's been a friend, a colleague, a teacher, a leader, to many, to many, not just me, to many in our industry. I think I just heard a few stories, uh, we were talking about Dennis, of course, uh, with so many people who brought up his name and, and, uh, um, and related stories and, and you know the connections they had with him. Um, Dennis was one of the early members, as I said, of the association, and uh, and he has worked and led the way tireless, tirelessly to educate and improve our industry. Dennis was a craftsman and an engineer. He's been a great advocate for the merit shop in our industry. He was one of the key electrical contractors who were instrumental in developing our training program. And he lived to see the, the program grow and flourish helping so many apprentices learn their craft and be, begin rewarding careers. Dennis has been involved in Skills USA, a high school level program that recognizes young people for their talent and interest in construction crafts and promoting careers in construction. As long as I've known Dennis, he's always been willing to help people succeed and to share his knowledge and experience. Dennis has been a key leader and a driving force in MECA, Michigan Electrical Contractors Association an industry association of electrical contractors and suppliers. He's been involved with ABC, not only at our chapter here, but he served uh, on committee assignments for ABC Michigan, and he was a uh, national board of directors for ABC National. Bright, witty, fun-loving, talkative, sharp, a craftsman, a designer, builder, servant leader, friend of many, mentor, I will miss you, Dennis. Is there someone from from Duncan? Because Keith said Duncan, come on up. Duncan. Any family Duncan. members here as well? Duncan and his team, uh, Dennis and his team, uh, built really the majority of the electrical work uh, in the addition and. Um, you probably were involved in that too. Are, are you an electrician? Yes, sir. Uh, hi, Jim. Zach. Zach. So Zach's here. I want Zach. I want to um, <coughs> present this. You'll receive this on on behalf of Dennis. I I uh, I'm just the sadness for for what your family must be going through and, and your your company. Uh, what a loss. I love Dennis. He's a good guy. He was. Yeah. So and we're gonna. End Stairs and uh, in honor of him, the, the Denkin room. It's going to be our large multi purpose room upstairs, and that'll be a permanent uh, fixture for us here. In